Hey guys, so today I wanted to film and just wait for it. <laughs> it's gonna be weird, a makeup tutorial. Do these even exist on YouTube anymore? Well, they do today. <laughs> they do today. I asked on Twitter, I was like, do you guys even like makeup tutorials or do you just like product reviews? And so many people were like, bitch, we still need tutorials. And I was like, well then bitch, I'm gonna do them. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna use this palette today. This is something that I have had sitting on my desk that when I saw the outside of it, I was like, eh. It sounds like fine or whatever, it like looks fine. And then I opened it up and I was like, oh, these colors do something to me. This is the Sigma Enchanted palette. Now this side over here, eh, doesn't do much for me. Just block that out. But this part right here, just look at all these colors. They may not seem that crazy, but like that, these greeny shades and like the cooler toned browns and like these are so stunning in person that you just literally can't even believe it. On camera, I can't even begin to do them justice. This shade is like a stunning shimmery green. This one up here is a beautiful duochrome of like a mostly blue base, but it's got like a hint of brown. You see when I turn it, like right here, it looks like a silvery blue, but then you turn it and it looks like a kind of browny pink. Stunning. It's got such a beautiful shift to it. So I'm gonna do a makeup look with this today. And that's all it's gonna be. No review. Well, maybe a little first impression moment because I haven't used these Sigma shadows yet. Sigma shadows are pretty good. I don't recall them being shitty at all. So I'm just gonna do this. This feels so weird. It's been literally years since I filmed a tutorial. Who knows if it's even gonna be like teachy. Do you think you guys need a tutorial? People on Twitter said that that would be really helpful and nice and good to watch. So I'm like, I'm good, then I'm gonna do it. I don't wanna hear another thing about it. So. I am going to prime my lids. I'm using the Pure Cosmetics LG3. This is the four-in-one Love Yourself E foundation and concealer. I'm using it to prime my eyelids. You can use an eyelid primer if you have one, but who's got time to have two different products? Just using, using any little brush to kind of buff it out on my lids just to get rid of any discoloration. I think you guys mostly know this part, but hey, I like to sometimes do tutorials as though the person watching it does not know. Blocking out any of my veininess, redness on my eyelids. Sometimes I set my eyelids with like a powder after I do the step, sometimes I don't. I think today I'm not going to, I'm just gonna go on top of this so that it's a little bit tacky and will grab onto the powder products that I'm gonna put on top of it. Okay, so this does come with a brush. So Sigma is mostly a brush company. So for it to come with a double-sided brush is kind of cool. One side is a fluffy blending brush you can see. And then the other side is like this little packing brush. I'm not a fan of brushes that come with things because I really hate double-sided brushes. I just really, really dislike them heavily. So I'm not gonna probably use that brush much. I'm gonna start off with a Sigma brush actually. This isn't sponsored by the way. I know it feels like it is, but it's not. This is the Sigma Innocent shade. And then I think I'm gonna probably go in with a little of loam and claystone, kind of all of these three together, but I'm probably gonna start off with this guy here just to add a nice little base down. It looks sort of pinky on camera, but in person this shade's like a, it's a very soft clay color. It's kind of just like a muted peachy color. I have no idea what kind of eye look I'm doing. So more than a straight up tutorial, this is kind of just having fun with makeup. I have a zit in my eyebrow. The shade's really, 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 really light. I don't even know how necessary this step is. Probably not at all. I have not done like a, an eye look like this in a while. I have no idea what kind of eye look I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna dip into that loam shade that I was talking about and then I'm gonna use my Smith 230 brush. It's really frayed right now. Like you'll see when I start using it, just how frayed it is. So, oh my God, because I washed it with the wrong product and ugh. I'm just running that through my crease. I'm gonna kind of run it out in a straight line like past my eyebrow. Some people like to do their brows first so that they have like the shape mapped out. Some people don't. I think it just depends on the day for me, but today I'm just kind of going with the flow, doing my eyes first. Some people really like to do their skin first too. They're not a big fan of doing the eyes first because it just throws them off not having their skin done. And I can understand that. That's why a lot of makeup artists will do the skin first. I think for me, I still always did people's eyes first because I would sometimes get fallout and screw up their foundation. And I hated that because I don't want to have to redo anything because you're always on a time crunch when you're a makeup artist. I only did makeup artistry like working on clients for eh, six months maybe. And you know, I think it's for some people and it's not for others. And for me, it's too much pressure. Too much pressure. I don't think I could ever do hair. Some people can do hair. Dude, I could never. Makeup washes off at least, but what if you like dye somebody's hair the wrong color or something or their hair starts falling out because of the bleach? Maybe you like fry their hair, give them a chemical haircut or something. Dude, that's like my nightmare. <laughs> 
It's my nightmare. So I'm just taking that same brush that we used first, the E40, and I'm just buffing out the edges to make sure that there's no harsh lines. If you don't have this palette and you can't afford it or you don't wanna go out and buy it, shades that you could probably use, you could use probably any sort of cool tone browns for this part. And then for that shade Metamorphosis, the one I was showing you that's like the bluish shift, there was a shade in the Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette called Insomnia, which I think they had in a single as well that would work, or the MAC Blue Brown pigment. MAC is not cruelty free, so I'm not gonna use that, but very similar in shade. Very unique, but I think it's kind of dupable. Wet n Wild also has a shade in their Comfort Zone palette that they used to have. I don't know if that palette's still made, but um, similar. I think I'm gonna switch over to this shade now, and then we'll head in and kind of darken things up in a bit, but I wanna use this one, which is Evergreen, and I'm using this on a Morphe M456 brush. Oh, is this brush so wet? Shit. I washed these brushes real quick before I started filming. It kind of clung a little bit in that spot where I first set it down because my brush was still a little bit wet, but pack it on. So this shade is like a really deep green. It's really pretty. On camera, it kind of comes off like grayish, but in person, it really is like a very true, very deep, almost like a green with a black base to it. Probably more wearable in that way because it's not super vibrant. It's a lot more of a color I would actually wear in the green realm. All right, so then I'm gonna go back in with that kind of frayed brush that I used, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of that loam color and clay stone and just run them right here. So I'm leaving the center part right here open so that we can add some of the other shades in there. Um, I think I'm gonna do that part now. I might like do a little bit of crease cutting action, probably with that same shade that we used to put down first. I think I used like LG3, that same stuff. You can use any concealer though. You don't have to use like the pure stuff. Concealer works or any sort of like colored eyelid primer. I'm doing this on a little flat shader brush. It's any little brush that's like this shape will work to like crease cut. Gonna stamp that on the top and then I'm just kind of stamping it through the bottom. I'm just cutting out the center. And then I'm gonna tap off the majority of the excess of that and then I'm gonna kind of tap the edges so that it gradiates out. I like to take my finger and tap over the edges of these. And then you can see that it like fully blends in. It's a lot brighter in the center and then it really just like starts getting a little more gradiated as it goes out. And then I'm gonna tap with that same brush. I'm going to dip into the shade Metamorphosis right here. I don't know how that's working on the brush as much as it would be good on my finger. Let's try from finger. really pretty. I really like this palette. Oh, I like that. Now I'm going to go in with that green shade Cosmos. I'm going to take it on the brush and see if I can sort of tap over the edges of that a little bit. really pretty. I'm gonna go in with this little flat guy. This is the Makeup Addiction Definer Brush. I'm gonna go back into that Metamorphosis shade, see if I can get right up to the top of that. All 
All right, so here's where we're at so far. I really like the way this looks. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of plume and just tap it right into the center there. You probably can't see much of that on camera as much as you can in person. It's this beautiful pink color on the bottom. And these shades, they don't seem complimentary, but they really are. They look so stunning. Green with pink like that just looks amazing. Oh, that looks really pretty in person. So I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Geek Black Eyeliner and I'm going to line the upper and lower waterline. I'm also gonna take a bit of this and I'm gonna smudge it right here, the base of the lashes so that my false lashes sit really nicely against it without you being able to see the gap. This is the ColourPop BFF Lippy Pencil and this is in the shade Alt and it's like this really pretty green color. I would have liked to use that. Maybe I can create some sort of wing with this or like some kind of smoked out area. I wish I could have used this on my inner lash line, but I didn't know if using a lip pencil was gonna be a problem. That looks really pretty actually, I like that. I'm gonna take that pencil and smudge it under my lower lash line. I'm not putting it in my waterline, just in case there's any sort of reaction, because this is a lippy pencil. It's not made to go in your eye, I don't think. I'm just gonna smudge it right there. And then um, I'm gonna put my foundation and everything on as well, so it'll probably get, get a little bit messed up. I can go back through and sort of fix it up a little bit. But I think this is gonna be really pretty once I get the lashes on. Oh, I think that's gonna look so nice. I am going to do my other eye off camera real quick, since you guys already just saw this one. And then I'm gonna come back with my eyes done, lashes on, work on my skin and everything like that. We will be right back. Okay, so eyes are pretty much done. Well, not really. I'm gonna do some stuff on the lower lash line, but I'm gonna work on my face first. So I'm gonna be using, you guessed it, pure four in one. I'm gonna be going in with two different shades here because I have MN5 and LN2. MN5 is my shade in the summer. <laughs> We're not really in summer anymore, so it's a little bit too deep for me. So I'm gonna just mix the two to kind of get my perfect shade, but they have a hundred shades of this foundation. So you certainly don't need to. You can definitely find your perfect shade without doing what I need to do. Let's address it. Let's address it. It cosmetics. Gotta talk about it in a video because I uh, had my moment on Twitter. Oh boy, did I ever. It Cosmetics came out with their Love is the Foundation brush. It is their every single year launch that they do around this time of year. And it's always been the same brush, same brush head, just a different handle, kind of new redesign each year. So this year I saw that they came out with their Love is the Foundation brush again. And because every prior year had been the same brush, just different handle, I tweeted all about it and I was like, guys, jump on it, it's available now. So many of you guys went out and bought it. I saw Kathleen Lights doing the same thing. She was like, everybody go get it, it's finally available because this is my favorite foundation brush, okay? It's amazing. I use it every single time I do my makeup. It's been my favorite brush for the last year. I cannot get enough of it. So what did everybody do? Oh, they purchased it. <laughs> they sure did. What did it cosmetics do? They changed it not just the handle, the top. Now, instead of it being like this, where you can see that the top of the brush is very rounded, and yes, the brush is shaped like a heart, but now they flat topped it. The brush is now completely flat top. It's a completely different brush. Yes, it may still work, but it's just not the same because the reason this brush is so good is because of the rounded top, is because of the denseness of the bristles and how soft they are, and you are basically, it's impossible to get lines with this foundation brush. There's just something about it. It's magical and they changed it. And I am devastated because so many people bought it per my recommendation and I feel awful about that. I don't like the idea that I may have swayed you in the direction to buy something that isn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. So if you did get this based on my recommendation this year, just know that the brush has changed. I did not know beforehand. I feel awful about it. I was sick to my stomach because I was like, dude, people bought something based on my recommendation and then it's not 
even what I know of. Like, it may be good still, but I don't know because it's not the brush that I recommended. Do you know what I mean? It's just like totally different. I'm so sorry if that's the case. I do believe that the proceeds from buying the It Cosmetics Love is a Foundation brush, a portion of them, or all of them, I'm not sure, goes towards a good cause. And I believe it's breast cancer research. So it at least there's that. But if you bought it and you don't like it, I think you can return it as well. I am so sorry if you bought it on my recommendation and you don't like it though. I had no idea that they were gonna change it. It, if you are watching this video, which you likely are not, but if you are, please God in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Please re-release this with the round br bristles. The flat top's just not the same. It's this bottle has a pump on it and a doe foot applicator, just in case you were wondering. I like to apply it with the doe foot because it's just easier for me. It does have a pump on it as well. So I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade of that. I'm gonna go with the shade LN2. This was the lighter shade that we put on our face and I'm gonna use it as the concealer portion because this is foundation and concealer. So that's one nice thing about it as well is that you don't have to have a separate concealer, but some people like a separate one. If I've got it, I might as well use it. Using that same brush to apply the concealer. I don't really set my face with powder. Sometimes I do in the middle of winter, generally don't. Well, it's not winter. Whoa, 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 slow down. In the middle of fall, I generally don't. Got ahead of myself there, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. All right, I'm gonna use the Fenty Shady Biz Bronzer, which uh, if you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know that I just love it lately. By lately, I mean for like the last few months. I'm about to hit pan on it. You can actually see the pan coming through, which is pretty exciting for somebody that has so much makeup to get down to that point with makeup is pretty exciting. Never happens. So this is the Eco Tools Precision Highlight Brush. And this one was in a set. It was, I can't remember, but I'll try to find it and link it. And this one is just such a good brush. I really love little tiny brushes like this for applying bronzer sometimes because it's just like, so precision and it's not so large. I don't know, I feel like I can just get a little bit better of an application. Okay, I wanna address the bangs for a minute. People, when I'm doing makeup tutorials, are like, get those fucking bangs out of your face. And I wanna tell you this, I did not sit there and style these shits for like the last hour before I started filming to pin them back, okay? There's an issue here. I haven't had bangs in probably like seven to nine years. I could not remember what it was like. and. Having them means that once they are styled, that's where they stay. I didn't spend hours working on this to pin them and get kinks in them, okay? We already had that issue in the Florence by Mills video. There was a kink right in my hair. Nobody wants to see that. We, we're not gonna do that. So, okay, I'm, I know it's annoying to have hair down in my face. I know most of you are like, pin them back. No, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. I wish that this wasn't there. It's when I got my lip pierced when I was younger and it will forever look like I still have a lip piercing. That's done, so now let's move on to blush. This is the Ofra Island Time blushes that I used in a recent first impressions video. And I think for today with this, I'm feeling maybe more cool toned, but that's very, very pink. So I'm gonna like, eh, just a little <laughs> moment like that. I'm gonna tap off a lot on my hand and like, Kind of just buff it right there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Very pigmented, so you're gonna wanna go light on that sucker. These lashes are so interesting. Okay, so these are the Coco Lashes Risqué, which are my favorite lashes of all time ever. And the thing about these lashes is, is that they are like hand tied or whatever. And you'll get some lashes in the mail when you order them that are like perfect and fluffy and amazing. And then you'll get some like these that are so spiky and weird. And I think that's because they are handmade by like a person. So the inconsistencies are, possible, but damn, if these aren't like sometimes so inconsistent in their quality. Okay, I do think I need a little bit of powder on my under eye area. I'm gonna use the Nabla powder, I think. The Nabla close-up powder. Just a little bit right in that area where I want it to not move around. This is a total huge zit right, like look right in my brows, like literally. Get I did my brows a little bit off camera with the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil. And I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Gel. I'm gonna start on the tail just to kind of get the excess product off. Cause sometimes if you start in the front, like it just deposits too much product. Those brows are not great. Not great at all. But you know, sometimes things aren't great. 
and they're just okay. And that's what we are dealing with in this very moment in time. So I'm gonna throw some more mascara on the top lashes. This is the NYX On The Rise mascara, and I'm gonna put it on the top. I already had, but I kind of had a mishap up here just to melt my lashes in together. I'm gonna use it on the bottom as well. So I'm gonna finish off my bottom lashes now with that palette. I think I'm going to do shimmer on the bottom. I just really love a good shimmery lower lash line. I think what I'm going to do is take that brush that I use the green on and take the residual that's on this brush and just really buff it on my lower lashes. Should get that like super smoky vibe out of it. I'm not adding any additional product, just letting what's on the brush do the work. This may be a little bit much for some people, but you know, it's not much for me. I'm getting back into eyeshadow now. I went through a couple of months where I was just really lulling it on eyeshadow, but you know, that's the ebb and the flow I'm talking about. Happens to the best of us. All right, so just really buffing that out so it's nice and smoky on the lower lash line. There's no harshness whatsoever. Just really, really feathered edges. By the way, this is the Morphe M456. This really makes my eyes look even greener. They look so green to me right now. I think instead of going in with any of the green shades, I'm gonna go in with that pink again on my finger and that is Plume. Oh my God. How beautiful are green and pink together? I could literally scream and cry right now. That looks so pretty in person. It's so, so, so beautiful. It's like a purpley pink looking on this. Oh my God. Those two colors together are unreal. Wow. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that metamorphosis color, which is that sort of bluey brown, and just sort of tap it in with that so that it all meshes together. And just to sort of perfect everything, I'm gonna take that same little brush that I used with just the powder for my under eyes and make sure to get any glitter fallout off. All right, now lower lash mascara, same NYX on the rise. Dude, my lower lashes are so so long right now. I don't know what's happening. This mascara is making them even longer. This is a little bit Halloween-y. No lie, kind of living, kind of living. All right, and then you know what? I think I'm gonna take a bit of lighter shade. I think I'm gonna go in with this budding color right here and just tap a teeny little teeny teen teen of that. Okay, absolutely soft. I'm gonna put like a tipple, tapple of that right here. This is the It's Likely Makeup Pro 2M brush in collaboration with Furless Cosmetics. Those are the eyes done. I think they're pretty, I think it's fun. And I think I wanna use, I think I'm gonna use the Milk Highlights again. These are the ones that I used in a video, mm, I'll link it up here. It was the Full Face of First Impressions video that I did recently. And I tried out the Milk Flex Highlighters and I didn't get to try this one. So I'm gonna try it on camera today. This is the shade Blitzed. And this is the one that I said was really glittery, but I'm filming a microscope video after this. So I think it'll be fun to have like glittery makeup so we can see what it looks like under the microscope. I'm gonna see what this is like. This might be a little bit deep on me. Ooh. No, really isn't. It's definitely glittery. For sure, way more glittery than the other ones, but you know what, it works for this look. It is very highlighty still, but you can see like the flecks of glitter that it's kind of shooting out all over my face. See, see what I'm talking about? Hmm. Yeah, this isn't one I would reach for for the everyday. Yeah, it just looks like I put glitter all over my face. So that's cool. All right, let's go in with a different one. This is the shade Lit. Yeah, this one's pretty. A lot more wearable. Really bright still though. Wow, why would they make that one so glittery? All right, and now I'm gonna set my face. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Love this. You guys can use my Morphe code. I don't have one for 0% off. And now time for lips. And I think what I'm gonna use is my favorite gloss that I've been loving. And then I think I'm gonna do, I gotta keep it lighter on the lips because like, let's be real for a moment. If we go crazy on the lips and the eyes, nothing will happen, but I just don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna use the little one ColourPop Lippy Pencil. 
I'm not gonna line my entire lips, just like certain areas. Like right there in the center on the top and the bottom. If I line the outside, sometimes it can look a little bit like a clown mouth. You know what I'm talking about? Like the outside gets too puffy and then it's just like, like a sad clown. I'm gonna use a little Mochalicious. I get asked quite often like, why don't you remove the foundation from your lips before you put lip product on? How exactly is a rainbow made? How exactly does a posi track rear end on a Plymouth work? It just does. Doesn't answer the question at all, but you know. This is the Lunar Beauty Gloss in the shade Dreamy. Oh my God, it smells so good. Uh, it really is dreamy. This is the one I was talking about in my recent video that I just did with House Labs, which I will link up here. And this is the gloss that I wear all the time recently. It's either this or the Patrick Ta gloss, which is down in my purse, which is why I'm not using it right now. But they're so glidey like, no stickiness at all. You literally couldn't get stickiness if you tried. They feel like you're literally coating your lips in oil. It's such a nice feeling. And this, my friends, is the finished look. I can't believe I just filmed a tutorial. There's no amount of me telling you that things are good that I need to do right now. Like that is the video. Like that, that's the video. And it's really weird. Okay, but I am going to tell you what I think about the palette because this was my first time using it. I think I really like it. I think that the shades were really easy to work with. They're buildable, pigmented. I feel like the shimmers are really beautiful. I love the eye look I created. I think that this side of the palette that I did use today is really fun, especially for fall. I love the tones. It just like is right up my alley. This side is a little more spring. So it could transition nicely into the seasons. But this color, even though it doesn't quite look like it matches, it's like a duochrome as well. See how it like changes a little bit. Everything is just so beautiful in this palette. I can't even tell you. It's really really pretty let me know if you guys like this video if you guys want me to continue up on these kind of style of videos there's sort of like a get ready with me in a way because I'm not like teaching as much as I am just showing you how I'm creating the looks but I don't know tell me what you guys think you guys like this because I liked filming it it's nice that I could just like sit up here do my makeup chat with you guys and have fun doing it so I hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel I upload new videos as often as I do. And that's usually every so often. So <laughs> I hope you guys like that schedule. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. And I think I'm going to start You could use probably any sort of cool Okay, so here's where, because this is a foundation. What is with this? What is with this? Please. You didn't stop at the stop sign, sir. Thank you.